Hi everybody, welcome back. Uh, yes, I just have my Christmas decorations up and it is currently January 19th. Oh, I almost said 29th. 19th. I just can never get enough of Christmas, so I just leave them up and we've been way too lazy to take them down. Excuse my cat, roaming around in the background. Uh, today I'm back to do this month's Boxy Charm and it's super late because I got it like two days ago. Um, and I was waiting and waiting and I was like, where the heck is it? But I finally got it. I'm excited because I saw a sneak peek of something that I got and I love it. So let's just get right into it. Today I'm actually going to, obviously, I have a blank face. So I'm going to do like a try on. So I'm going to take the stuff out and try everything out. Um, so let's just get right into it. This is the theme, Boxy and Chill. I'm sure all of you guys have heard of Boxy Charm. Let's just go ahead and get right into the box. So, first thing is this. The Briogeo Rizarco Milk uh, Repair Reparative Leave-In Conditioning Spray. Um, so, I'm not going to use this today because you have to dampen your hair and my hair is already dry. But I am going to try this eventually and let you know how it is on my Instagram below. Um, okay, so the first thing I see to use first, or what I see that I can use first is two of these Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Masks. And if you haven't heard of Tatcha, everybody on YouTube and their mother uses it. Um, it's supposedly really good, um, like skin care stuff. Everybody uses that like setting spray. So I am going to go ahead and put this on. Um, it says to apply mask and smooth to fit comfortably and leave on for 15 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this mask on, leave it on for 15 minutes, come back and let you guys know how my skin feels right after. I've been waiting to do this all week. Well, since I got it, but I knew that I had to film this on a Saturday, so I had to wait. So let's just go ahead. It's just a sheet mask. I, ooh, it's like milky. It's like a, it's not clear. It's like white. Ooh, it's gonna be cold. Okay, let's go ahead and put this on. Oh, it's cold. Oh, it's so cold. Oh, I don't like cold feelings on my skin. Oh, okay, smooth. I look weird. It's like a Michael Myers here. Okay. Um. Ah! God, it's getting everywhere. Alright. Okay, so that's on. I'm gonna leave it on for 15 minutes. I need a napkin. <laughs> look at It's everywhere. I have super dry skin, so let's see how uh, dewy and luminous this gets my, mm, my skin. Alright, I'll be back. See you guys in, see you guys in 13 minutes and 58 seconds. <sighs> All right, you guys, it's been 15 minutes. I am back. Let us take this thing off. It's gotten all over my neck. Oh, oh, Ugh. Whew. oh my gosh. All righty, let me rub this, all this extra stuff into my skin. Oh. My biggest issue is, one, making sure that uh, my eczema on my eye doesn't act up, and keeping my skin nice and dry and hydrated. So, uh, really quick, I'm just gonna use my little flawless um, like hair removal thing to take this stuff off. You can't see much, but I'm just gonna... Probably should have done this before that mask. Oh well. Excuse me. It works really well. I like it and my hair doesn't grow back like super thick or anything. Ooh, it's like sticky. Can you hear? It's sticky. Um. Uh, yeah. Um, I used to bleach a little stash there, but it just kept growing and growing and I was getting really tired of it. And then like shaving, like using one of those little like eyebrow shaver things right here got my skin um I mean made it like grow back thicker 
So I found that, or one of my friends recommended it to me, and I've been using it since... Hey! Stop it! Sorry, my cat is right here trying to gnaw on my tripod. Um, so my friend recommended that, and it's been working really well. It hasn't been growing back super thick, and it's actually... Um, like, doesn't grow back as fast. Um, anyway, so if you get it, I recommend it. It is $25. Or no, not $25, 20 It's $19.99. I got it at Target on that, like, as seen on TV section. Um, so, before continuing, I'm going to go ahead and put my face makeup on. Um, so I'll probably just speed through this. and stuff later on and so the next thing I'm gonna do is use this we got this in there it is a it's a BDB oh billion dollar brows universal brow pen uh, brow where's that universal brow pencil um, <clears throat> 
So it has a retractable, um, and it comes with the spoolie on the other end. And this is the shade. It's universal, but this is the shade. It's very, um, like, cool-toned. Well, not cool-toned, like, ashy, I guess, is the correct term. I think. I don't know. I'm not a professional here. Um, I usually, when I do my brows recently, my hair is pretty dark and my brow hairs are really dark too. So I've been using this like pretty much black, or it is black, um, shade in this Tarte Clay Play Face Shaping Palette um, for my eyebrows. So this is going to be lighter than I'm used to. But let's see how this goes. So I am just oh, very lightly going in on the inside, on the inner part of my eyebrows. Um, just because I have like, a, I don't need a whole lot done on my eyebrows. Um, I just have like a very like little sparse area right there up in the front. Um, okay, and then let's just try to fill in the end. I haven't used a pencil in a while. I've been using the powder and like a, a flat um, brush. So this is different. I just kind of draw, <clears throat> excuse me. I just draw an outline there. I do it pretty natural. I don't like shape them like crazy and super, super precise. My eyebrows are already pretty, oh, um, like thick. Oh, see, it's like really red. I'm not like the biggest fan of this. It's mainly, not mainly, really only because of the color. Um, cause I'm used to my dark, like, blackish eyebrows. I wish, I mean, we put, like, our hair color and everything when we sign up for BoxyCharm, so I wish they would, like, um, send boxes, like, when they have stuff like this, rather than universal colors do, like, the color of our hair. Um, it's okay, not my favorite. I'll probably end up going over later with my, like, the eyebrow stuff that I like to do. Yeah, I don't, I don't like this color at all. But, it's okay. It's okay. I'll be fine. So that was the second. Two, three. One, two, three, four. Did we only get four products? Oh, no. Yeah. That was the third product. The first one was the uh, Rizarco, um hairspray. Okay, so that was the third product that we got this month. So, so far it's going okay. I like the Tatcha um, masks. I like that we got the Briogeo hair thingy. Um, the only thing I'm not a fan of so far is the, uh, the eyebrow pencil. So anyway, moving on. Next thing is the thing I'm super excited for. It is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3 palette. So I think this month it was like you could get either the 1, 2, or 3. And I was really excited to get this one because I'll use this one more than I would have used the other two. So this is what the packaging of the Volume 3 looks like. Ah, and this is the inside. Oh, it's backwards. This is the inside. Oh, the sun is hitting it. Sorry. Look at how shiny. I love it. Ah, I love Tarte. I said this in the last one, because in the December, like, Boxylux, we got a, a Tarte, like, lip paint. I love Tarte. Tarte is my favorite brand. Ah, so I'm always excited when we get it. Okay, let me, I'm just going to do some, like, quick makeup with this, because this is pretty much all, um, it's all, like, shimmers, except for one shade. So I'm just going to do the one matte shade and then use a shimmer. And that's pretty much it. So I'm using this shade T Tiki. It's a um like it's like a tan. It's darker in person than on the uh camera. But it's just like a simple transition shade. I'm just going to put that fluff it here in the crease a little bit. Um I'm not doing anything too crazy today, so, because I'm only going to use this palette. I'm not going to bring any others into the mix here. Uh, it's nice and soft. Let's see. I'm just, 
trying to build it up a little bit so it's just a tad bit darker. Uh, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get a denser brush. This is one that we got in BoxyCharm. It's a Luxie brush. We got it in the November one. The November box. So I'm just going to get a denser brush and kind of try to focus in here and maybe it'll make it a little darker. I don't know. Yeah, that's helping a bit. Okay. Um, hmm. Anyway, okay, let's keep going here. All right. So I got that color in there, and now I'm going to go in with, let's see. I'm going to do Escape, this top one here. And I'm just going to put that all over the lid with my finger. Ooh, it's so sparkly. I love it. I'm getting a little bit of, like, fallout. But that's okay. Oh, excuse me, but that's okay. I'll just uh, brush it away right now. All right, I'm just gonna take the brush and swoop that stuff away. All right, so I am going to go ahead and put my um, blush and mascara on. So I am gonna zoom in, or I'm gonna speed up again. for this too. This is the Ofra Cosmetics look, uh, Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Miami Fever. I see this all the time because I watch Kathleen Lights all the time and I love her and I've been wanting this for a while because it's definitely my kind of shade. Um, here's what I usually use. I, oh, it's not in here. I usually use the Girlactic um, Liquid Lipstick in Posh. This one's a little more orange so I'm not sure how it's going to look on me. But, let's see. I like Ofra, and I love their new packaging. It's so cute. Alright, let's go ahead and put this on and see how it looks. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. So that's how the lipstick looks. It's like a nice, like, burnt orange shade. I love it. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? How does it look on me? It's a little more orange than I'm used to, but I really like it. Alrighty, well that was everything. So, thoughts? One, I'm not disappointed per se, but um, Boxy Lux last month in December kind of raised the bar for me. So now I'm sad that I don't always get Boxy Lux, that once in a while it's, or like, you know, that Boxy Lux is only once in a while. And now I have these smaller boxes, and I love the big one. But still, Boxy Charm to me is the best thing I could have ever signed up for. I like it a lot. So let's just go ahead and go over the prices of everything. Um, so the Rosarco Milk from Briogeo, this is only $12. That's not bad. Um, Briogeo can get expensive, um, but it's really good hair care. I got a bunch of it for Christmas last year, and I love it. So I'm really happy to get this. 
Um, so that's 12. The Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick is $20. The uh, Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Highlighting Eyeshadow Palette Volume 3 is 36 The Tatcha Luminous Dewy uh, Skin Face Max Masks 2-Pack is 24 And the A Billion Dollar Brows Universal Brow Pencil is 18 So let's go ahead and add all of that up um, just to see what the value of this box was. Alright, value was 110 So it's... um. Pretty standard for BoxyCharm. They've had higher, they've had a little bit lower. No big deal. Everything in here was good. I've seen some people like a little disappointed, um, but they're really good brands that they're giving us. Like Tatcha, Briogeo, Ofra, really good brands. Tarte. Uh, so I liked it. Uh, let me know what you think. Did you get BoxyCharm this month? If you did, what did you think of all the stuff you got in your box? Did you get anything different? Let me know. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more. I am so busy and I have not been uploading a lot, but I want to. So I'm going to try, but I work a lot. Um, at right now, after this, I have to log on and get some work done. Um, let me know what you thought though. Um, and yeah, I will see you next time. Bye!